The Onash collection is a legendary uh, German collection, one that I'm familiar with going back even to the 70s when he was a, uh, a dealer here in uh, New York. Most of the works that we have here uh, in this room related to uh, the New York School and field painting and specifically uh, show, I think, a, a core uh, interest in his uh, collection. And I think even more than gestural abstraction, um, he loved the, the kind of sort of epic and billing and luminous quality of, uh, of the color field painters. This work is uh, one of the kind of handful of legendary works made by Barnett Newman. It's his so-called Aqua series, and, and it's a color that is uh, in some ways uh, related to water, aqua, and one must remember these early experiments from the mid 40s where he would do sort of the underwater primordial seas and, and the idea of, of the water itself being life-giving and a force. And in that respect, it's very much a, a painting of, of this earth. It is both water and, as you see on the right-hand side, something that feels very much like the ground, like the earth. And out of that, is this famous uh, split, this fracture, both in terms of kind of space, and one imagines even time, and that's his zip. And it's a zip that brings him into another dimension, into a new kind of light. Keynotes is in some ways characteristic of the um, both uh, mainstream but sort of little kind of uh, six degrees left of center uh, that characterizes Onash's uh, uh, collection. This body of work, in fact, is from the legendary Virginia Dwan Gallery, and uh, she uh, showed the infamous Roxy and this group of, uh, of individual works that really cover the entire sort of range of interests of uh, Keenholz from these uh, more surrealist inspired work like this kind of seesaw vanitas uh, to this uh, mushroom cloud anti-war work with uh, children going up in, uh, in smoke uh, to these wonderfully kind of tough and abstracted almost sort of uh, nuggets of sculpture that make you think of uh, Art de Povera and Joseph uh, Boys. It's unclear, and it probably is unclear to him, whether he was uh, a collector to be a dealer or a dealer to be a collector. There seems to be a profound interest in artists who uh, made uh, significant contributions, but maybe in some ways are not as fully recognized as they have become or probably will become. And I suspect uh, that idea of uh, writing history through a kind of uh, deep dedication to an artist is something that makes the collection rather um, interesting in a way that maybe even museums can't do. Thank you.